Welcome into another edition of Southern Miss Sports Today with head coach Joy Lee McNellis and Emma Grace is here. And well, we're, we're hoping Emma Grace, uh, Emma Grace stays with us throughout the entire show. And Emma Grace, we try to cheer on those late Eagles in that 74-70 setback to FIU, but could you even go to sleep on Thursday night after that win against Western Kentucky? 69-63, number one team in the league goes down. And Joy, you know, I want to touch on FIU because we really want to spend most of the time in this segment talking about that Western win and what that does for the confidence, confidence of this team. But, but the whole thing about it is you got to come out and play every day in every this day. league. You know, because, Josh, we saw how good we could be against Western Kentucky. We really did. And then we saw how poorly we could defend against FIU. And, you know, FIU played really well. I mean, they're shooting right at 20-something percent. They had players that hadn't made a three um, in quite some times, and they just come out and shoot the cover off the basketball. So you have to give them credit because I think some of those shots they took were contested shots, which didn't guard the bounce, which created opportunities for those shots. So, so we did not defend well at all. We did not. And the other thing, Josh, I can say is that you saw how good we could be against Western Kentucky. You know, we stepped up. There was some times in that game that you're like, whoa, this Lady Eagle team can roll. And so, again, are we that good? Are we that bad? I think we're probably somewhere in between, but that means you can have some great nights as well. Well, you just, you just got to put a couple of the in-betweens together. You've got to survive a kind of a, an okay game next week, and you've got to save that near perfect game for the near perfect moment next week in Frisco. But I think this is truly the year where there might be a oh, half anybody. dozen or more teams that can get hot, put together a magical week and win the conference championship. Again, we'll talk about that more in the next segment, but this Lady Go team, we saw the highs and the lows, but if this team goes out and plays loose and the key is preparation, if they prepare like a champion mentality, Every time they have an opportunity in film and shoot arounds and so forth, they've got a chance. You know, we, we do. And, you know, the old saying goes, proper preparation prevents poor performance. And, you know, people have said that for years. And it's true. I mean, it goes back, Josh, and, you know, our staff talks a lot about life lessons. If you take a final exam and you don't prepare, you're going to flunk it. Bottom line, if you prepare, you're going to have some success. And, you know, that's what we've got to do, you know. And the thing that I can truly say is that we have a great group of coaches that work very hard in studying and in preparation. But, again, because of the youth of our team, sometimes we can't overcome. We can't get out of our own way. And we struggle with those things that sometimes become more of a mental aspect of it rather than a physical aspect of it. So, again, you've got to not only be physically prepared, you've got to be mentally prepared to be able to be successful. And, you know, the thing about March Madness is it's like one of the guys said, it is March Madness. I mean, that's a prime example. Western Kentucky, play out of your mind, and then you have uh, FIU, and you don't play well. That's truly what March Madness is all about. With us starting in the tournament in Dallas, Josh, the, the great thing about it is it's a new season. Nobody has a record. And in Conference USA, I think it's wide open. And, you know, Coach Randy Norton has done a phenomenal job at UAB. And, you know, they're going to go in the number one seed. And congratulations to him and his staff. And I will say this, Josh, you know, it's even as good as they are, with all due respect to his program and the top programs, I do believe this team this tournament is a wide open tournament. And it's the team that's going to prepare, properly prepare mentally and physically, is going to be the team that gets, wins the championship. It certainly will, Coach. And again, you look at what all of this meant today, this final home game of the regular season. How about Jayla King? She goes out, hits a big bucket on cue. When it left her hand, we said, for the record on the air, and it goes through, she joins that elusive or exclusive 1,000 point club, just the 27th member of that club. You know, Josh, and she did it in three years. I mean, that's what sometimes that we forget. And then she did it while expecting a baby and her second year of playing here. So, you know, I just think that when you look at it, Jayla has really accomplished a great feat with some of the things that, that she's had to face. And to be able to do it in three years, hats off to her. Proud of her and welcome to that club. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll wrap the show here. We'll talk about next week's tournament. We'll let you know who the couple of potential first round opponents are. A again, it's a wide open race, so it's really more about what the late Eagles are up to. And then we'll put the wrap on our final show of the year. It's been an amazingly quick year and we'll wrap it up on the other side of the break. You're watching Southern Miss Sports today. Hey, Beth.
basketball fans. The 2018 Conference USA Basketball Championship presented by Baylor Scott & White Sports Performance Center at the Star is coming to Frisco, Texas. 24 men's and women's basketball teams playing 22 games will take place at Ford Center at the Star, headquarters to the Dallas Cowboys. Join us for four days of exciting hoops March 7th through the 10th with CUSA titles and NCAA automatic bids on the line. For tickets and more information, go to conferenceusa.com. You won't want to miss Hoops at the Star this March. As we wrap this edition of Southern Miss Sports Today and wrap this year of Southern Miss Sports Today, heading off into March Madness, truly into the conference tournament in Frisco. It is a wide open race. Lady Eagles are going to finish anywhere in that 8, 9, 10 spot in Conference USA, more than likely 8 or 10, depending on the North Texas Rice game. And so Old Dominion losing uh, heavily at the time of this taping in Middle Tennessee. And so it'll be UTEP or it could be FAU in the first round, those two potential matchups and two challenging matchups. And again, you're really kind of wanting to get on the right side of the bracket. Lady Eagles preferring that 8-9 matchup. You know, Josh, I, you know, I agree. I think there's some teams in our league that we match up with better than others. Um, you know, Seda from UTEP is a strong post player. You know, fortunately, we played them at home. Um, we saw what Western Kentucky and losing to them at their place. Um, thank goodness the tournament's not at UTEP for sure. Get that who it is. Up, up. Well, did you want so. the tournament to be at UTEP? Up. We might have to have somebody come up. off camera and up. grab you, you okay? if you really wanted the camera. You wanted it to okay. be at UTEP. Here you go. Okay, Dad comes in. Michael, Dad comes in to save the day. All yeah. right, but so, she really uh, wanted a tournament. She wanted to go to El Paso. Well, so. She did, that's what it sounded like. Don't she say was, such things about El Paso. That's right, she was not real happy about that. But again, that, that's a tough matchup for us. FAU, you know what, they, they beat us like FIU beat us, to be very honest with you. You know, they just cleaned our clock, they stepped up, they played very well. So both of those opponents are gonna be good. But I'm gonna tell you, Josh, it doesn't matter who you play. I think there's some teams we match up with a little better than others. But I'm going to tell you, this tournament is wide open. I reference back to our players, as you'll remember in that first year you were with us, when we were in the number one seed and they, we play Central Florida in the championship. And Central Florida becomes from the last team in that league all the way up to beat us in the championship. So, again, Josh, it's a wide open tournament. Um, I will say this, and, and Sterling Randall and I were discussing this as we were voting for all conference awards. Uh, because I like to dig deep. I don't like to just pick the scorers or just the rebounders. You know, I like to really do some research because I want to make sure the young ladies that are deserving get those awards. And, you know, as you look across our league, every team has a star. Every team has a couple of players that can be on the team in conference, in all conference team. So again, there's, it's really spread out. Um, and so again, when we tip it off and at the Ford Center in, in Frisco, Texas, and it can be anybody's game. Again, I think it's going to boil down to heart and soul. I guess that's the simplest way to put it. It's about blood and guts. And when you lay it on the line, no matter how you feel, you put everything aside, then it makes a big difference. Well, in closing, I just want to say, as this is going to be my final show with yourself and with Craig, thank you. It has been a joy and an honor to be able to work with this program. And, you know, people say, well, Josh, where are you going? I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to buy season tickets like you should, and I'm going to join the wings, and I'm going to be here at Reed Green Coliseum. But, but Joy, I had no idea about the video and the presentation awesome. prior, and I was just completely, I try to do my best to just kind of be in the moment and soak it in with kind of sensory overload, but that, that's something I'll never forget. Thank Josh, you. Josh, I want to tell you, you know, there's people that walk in your life, and there's people you meet, and they're a part of your life, and they just go on. Uh, but truly, you're that person that has left footprints in our hearts, and you've left front footprints for many reasons. Number one, because you love our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and you always reference that. And you know, for someone to do that and not only just talk about it, but live it, and that's what you've done because I've watched you from afar and I've watched you up close, and you're truly one of his children that definitely makes a difference in the lives of so many people. And I appreciate that because you know what? You've made a difference in our life, you have. And you know, the other thing I would like to say, Josh, you have made us sound good when we stink. <laughs> you know, you have made us sound like we still have chances to win and we're down 30. 
when I, I know there's been games that I've gone to the radio and I'm like, do I really have to listen to what Josh is going to ask me? But you know what? You always hit me with something positive. Your glass is always half full. It's not half empty. And you always make me feel better. I'm thinking, what is Josh coming up with this time? But it's always a positive, Josh. And you know, in our world today, there are very few people that see the world half full. You know, everybody has a tendency to see it half empty. And I truly believe because you're one of God's children and because you're passionate about what you do that you will be have much success. And yes, I'll make sure you get a Wings membership before you leave and I'll make sure you get a season ticket and I'll expect you to be here uh, at the Lake <laughs> Eagle Games. But you have blessed us in so many ways and I just want to let you know that we appreciate Stacy and Elijah. It's been fun watching him grow up and be a part of Lady Eagle basketball. But thank you, bud, and I love you. And again, best of luck. And once a Lady Eagle, always a Lady Eagle. Uh, Coach, love you too. And uh, I guess you got to end with this. When you're talking about staying positive, back through some of the times we were watching you get this program really rolling, and Roger Cameron said, well, there's the man that can make the great flood sound exciting. That's so, right. You know what? Yeah, I thought right. I knew I had a chance. Roger, yeah. appreciate that, buddy. Uh, I knew that you meant that as a compliment. Well, for Craig Adams, for Coach McNellis, we will all see you in Frisco, Texas next week. But for now, you've been watching Southern Miss Sports Today.